All right, taking a live look at Bridgestone Arena tonight, where my favorite, Charlie XCX, will soon take the stage. Two sisters who go to Belmont really wanted to go, so their mom bought tickets for them a couple of months ago. We get this last week. Those tickets mysteriously disappeared from her Ticketmaster account. And apparently she's not the only one. Investigative reporter Jennifer Krause discovered that if you bought any tickets recently, you may want to check your account and make sure they're still there. My daughters were very excited to see the show with their friends. Michelle Wise has two daughters so who last. love Charlie XCX. <laughs> So back in April, she bought four tickets to Wednesday night show at Bridgestone Arena. But then last week, and I saw a message pop up on my phone that my tickets were being transferred. Those tickets were suddenly gone. And it was horrifying because I knew I was not transferring the tickets. I was the only one that had access to my account. And I just watched in a flash the tickets just leave. And get this, the same thing we found is suddenly happening to Ticketmaster customers across the country. Post after post online describing how tickets are mysteriously being transferred out of customers' accounts to virtual strangers. In fact, when Wise called to report what had happened to her credit card company. The person who helped me on the phone, she said, you're not going to believe this, but I just got off the phone with another customer that had the same thing happen to them. And I said, was it for the same concert? And she said, no, it was a different concert, but it was Ticketmaster tickets. But what's really bothering Wise is how she says Ticketmaster is handling this wave of stolen tickets. It makes me not want to deal with Ticketmaster at all. Immediately after her tickets were transferred out of her account, she contacted the ticketing giant and says she would told they would investigate and would freeze her tickets so she wouldn't lose them and that they would be able to recover them so she or her daughters could use them. But the very next day... I just happened to look for my exact seats on other reseller sites. So I found my seats listed, relisted for sale on two different sites and then looked at Ticketmaster and found my exact four seats relisted for sale on Ticketmaster. But not only were they listed on Ticketmaster's site, Wise says her stolen tickets were sold to someone else through Ticketmaster. It was really unbelievable. This all comes after Ticketmaster announced a major data breach earlier this year. But the company assured customers that their accounts were safe. Now customers are posting angry comments on Ticketmaster's Facebook page, expressing their frustration at the entire situation, describing how difficult it is to get through to the company and get a real person who can provide help or answers. I feel like Ticketmaster needs to do better. Now, Michelle finally heard back from Ticketmaster six days after she first reached out, after we contacted the company. Now, they told her the hacker had gotten into her account using her email and password. So this is important. If you have a Ticketmaster account right now, log in and change your password. And Ticketmaster recommends you do this every few months and make sure it's a strong and unique password, not something like tickets123. Right, right, right. We hear that all the time. It's yeah. just hard to keep up with those passwords when you change right. it all the time. Yes. All right, here's the question, though. Did the girls get to go to the concert tonight? Important question, and yes, they okay. did. Here's the thing. They got tickets. Michelle was concerned that because she wasn't hearing anything from Ticketmaster, so she went ahead and bought new tickets through SeatGeek, slightly more expensive, mm. and the seats are not as good, but Ticketmaster has agreed to pay her now what she spent on those tickets. Still, she doesn't have an explanation yet from Ticketmaster about why they never froze the tickets like they told her she was going to do. We should point out, though, that Ticketmaster does get a cut every time tickets are sold through their site. So going back to the data breach, is this mm -hmm. all a part of or because of that incident? So Ticketmaster says no, it is not. The company says that what we're seeing happening across the country has nothing to do with the data incident because passwords were not part of that breach. Ticketmaster maintains that hackers are getting in through people's email accounts, but Michelle Wise does not believe that that's actually what's happening. It just seems like something shady is going on for sure. <laughs> that it's affecting so many people yeah. in so many different concert yes. venues. It, it, yeah. there, there are a lot of questions.